Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about report formats. These are super important if you're setting up for your admin exam and they're pretty simple to understand but it's always good to go over them. So let's take a look at all of the different formats that we can have for our reports. If you want to know about report types which are different to report formats then you can check out our other video on that. Now, our report format can be either tabular, summary, matrix, or a join format. And the report format simply describes what our end resulted report looks like. A tabular report format is best when we're creating lists of records or when we want a list with just a single grand total at the bottom. The key thing about tabular report formats is that we can't have any report that is used to create groups or data or charts, and it can't be used in dashboards unless the rows are very limited. Examples of this include contact mailing lists or activity reports. These are our tabular reports. No groupings, no charts, and they're not used in dashboards unless the rows are very limited. Our next type of report format is a summary report format. And summary reports are similar to tabular, but they allow users to group by rows of data. This gives us subtotals and allows us the ability to create charts. Fantastic for dashboards. A third type of report format is called a matrix report. And matrix reports are the next step up from summaries. If you can think of a summary report as grouped by rows of data, can you guess what our matrix report is grouped by? Yep, that's right, columns as well. So our matrix reports are summarized by both rows and columns. Our final report format is a joined report, which lets us create multiple report blocks that provide different views of your data. Think of a joined report as quite literally a bunch of different reports that are all joined together in one great big giant report. Each report that we have within this big giant report is called a block and we can have up to five blocks in a joined report. We will always export our joined reports as .xlsx files and you can rename and reorder blocks. You can even convert unjoined reports into joined reports and you can create cross block summary formulas. So formulas that is taking data from across a bunch of different blocks. Now when it comes to exporting reports, you can always export reports using the export button and then just simply download them as a .csv file. The Save As button in a report will save a copy of that current report as a brand new one in Salesforce. This means that if we were working on a report that we really liked but we only wanted to change a couple of different things, we could make those changes and then use the Save As button to save a new copy which included those changes, but our original report will stay the same. This is a great way of kind of increasing the productivity of creating reports because we don't have to create them all from scratch. You can actually start to build on previous versions of reports. That's it for reports in this video. I hope that you learned a bit about the different report formats and how you can save and export your reports as well.